Hello, hello. Do you have to change your sobriety date if you take ayahuasca? <sighs> Welcome to Sobriety Bestie. This is a question I was recently asked. Do I need to change my sobriety date if I do ayahuasca? And um, I have a couple of thoughts on this. I totally understand that curiosity um, with that question. Like, does that does ayahuasca jeopardize one's sobriety? Um, and I also get wanting to ask somebody who maybe has more time sober or more experience um, with sobriety, that question. But I think ultimately this isn't a question for Google or YouTube. <laughs> this is a question for yourself, for your soul, right? Like, um, I think that I actually have new opinions about plant medicine. If you haven't seen my video up here is I changed my mind about plant medicine. You can watch that video. Um, I also just did a, another video about um, mushrooms and is it okay to take mushrooms? Are you still considered sober if you take mushrooms? This is another question somebody asked me, so I'll post that one up here too. Um, and so my opinion <laughs> on do you have to reset your sobriety date if you take ayahuasca is absolutely not. Like, are you sober from ayahuasca? Like, is that what, you know, if you're sober from ayahuasca because ayahuasca was a problem for you and you became addicted to it somehow, then yeah, don't do ayahuasca, right? Like. I was addicted to alcohol. I had an alcohol dependency. I have alcohol. I had alcohol use disorder, so I don't drink. I just don't drink. Now, I think, you know, context is important too whenever we're talking about um, doing a substance that changes how we feel. Con what's the context? Would you want to do ayahuasca to um, numb your feelings? Do you want to do ayahuasca to um, escape reality? The answer is probably no. Um, I've never done ayahuasca. I'm open and available to it. If the calling happens, I will answer the call. I'm here to answer the call of my soul, right? When spirit calls, I answer. That's how I live my life. Um, so I'm open to it. I haven't done it. I haven't done, uh, I haven't done mushrooms since the nineties. You know, it's been a long time, but I'm available and open to it. If that's the direction my soul calls me in. And I would not set my reset my sobriety date. I would not consider that a relapse or a break of my sobriety. I am sober from alcohol. Um, and the way that I like, and you could look, you look at my video on plant medicine, how I changed my mind around it. But ultimately for me, if I'm doing something to, to, to go in, to connect in, to check in, that's not, that's not about losing sobriety. If I check out, that's about losing sobriety. That's not sober. If I'm checking out, that's not sober. That's how I define it. So how do you define it? So when I was drinking, um, and taking benzos, I was doing that to check out of how I felt, to check out of my reality, to check out of my pain. If I was gonna do something like ayahuasca, it would be to check in on my soul, check in on my evolution, to do a deep down healing, to expand my consciousness, to shed conditioning, to shed uh, like limiting beliefs and false ideas and fears of how I think I'm supposed to be or how the world is, and to come back to, you know, a union back to love, right? To expand my consciousness to evolve. And part of the reason why I, I picked the word sobriety and sobriety bestie is because one of the definitions of sobriety, aside from the fact that I'm 13 years sober from alcohol, right? At the time of filming this, sober since 2009. Um, but part of the reason why I love the word sobriety over sober even is because sobriety, one of the definitions of it is the state in which we came into the world, like coming in naked, without conditioning, without other people's ideas on us. And so what is sobriety to you? What is life about to you? If you're gonna ask yourself, whether you do that in journaling or while you're, you know, a walk in nature or while you're praying or while you're meditating, what is life about? Do you wanna use something like ayahuasca to expand your soul, to expand your consciousness, to get in touch with who you are, to do a deep healing, to reconnect with the truth of who you are and why you're here? And if so, how could that be considered a relapse? How could that be considered a break of sobriety? It's a good question to ask yourself. I don't see it as one. It doesn't matter what I see in the context of your life and what's gonna make you feel comfortable in your skin and you feel okay with who you are and how you behave in the world, right? Your integrity. Like in my integrity, it is okay. This is a new revelation for me. Keep in mind, I'm 13 years sober. This is a new revelation for me is that it is, you know, plant medicine. It's okay to have plant medicine be part of my journey. I'm open and available to that if I feel inspired to, if, it, if I feel it from my intuition. Now, now, in the beginning of my sobriety, like if I was 60 days sober, would that be a good idea? I don't know. 
there's a lot of like people that are saying that some of these plant medicines are really good to help with addiction, to help break addiction, to help uh, cure addiction, right? To help people get sober in the first place. And so I can't speak directly to the powerful, like um, life-changing experience of ayahuasca because I've never done it before, but I have done mushrooms. I had like my most profound spiritual experience that I've ever had to date. Now, if I did ayahuasca, that might change, right? But to date, it was on psilocybin mushrooms when I was 16 years old. That, that was like beyond, that was not checking out. That was not having fun. It wasn't so much even, it wasn't really fun. <laughs> I, I don't recommend it. I don't not recommend it, right? It was me, like my consciousness, like floating in the cosmos. It was an out of body experience. It was uh, my soul, it was, there was no mind. I was like somewhere else. I was like in this vast, I was existing in a vast like oneness of allness of the universe. I don't even know how to explain it with words because I don't think you can explain it with words. Was that drugs? Like according to who? Do I regret that? No, it was one of the, it was the most powerful spiritual experience of my life. If you're feeling called to evolve, then that's something that you've got to figure out. Does that fit into your current ideology, your current worldview? Do you need to upgrade your ideology that you're living under? Do you need to upgrade your worldview? I don't know. I don't know. All I can tell you, because I don't know what it means for you. I don't know you. I probably never met you, right? I don't know what you've been through. I don't know. Addiction's on a spectrum. I don't know if you were mild, moderate, or severe. I was probably severe. That's why I'm not going to drink alcohol again. Hopefully, I will never drink alcohol again in any form, right? Um, but for me, the decision that I have, that I feel comfortable for myself is that if I feel called to go use ayahuasca, um, medicinally, like a plant medicine in a part of a ceremony to go do deep healing work, I am a hell yes. <laughs> and I would not reset my sobriety date. I wouldn't even give a fuck about my sobriety date. If I'm here to expand my soul, that doesn't even fucking matter. No, I'm swearing. <laughs> it's just a number, right? Like, I don't want to mess with my sobriety from alcohol. I don't want to tempt myself. I don't want to go have a drink and see how I feel. I don't think it's safe for me to use alcohol. That's my truth today. The date doesn't matter. Nobody's opinion matters. For me, what matters is my intuition, is to following my intuition, to living in alignment with my heart and my spirit. In fact, I don't know how I would actually have sobriety if I didn't do that. I need to be me. I need to trust me. I need to be on the journey of trusting myself discerning fear from intuition and living in alignment with my intuition. And if my intuition says like move to Bali, I'm going to move to Bali. If it says start a YouTube channel, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. These are things I've done, right? If my intuition says go talk about childhood sexual abuse, I'm going to do it. And I did, right? Have you seen my TED talk? I'll link it up here. That was scary. I am here to face my fear. I'm here to answer the call of my soul. If your soul is saying go do ayahuasca, then you got to decide if that's who you are and that's what you want to do. Fuck anyone's judgment. Be yourself. Who are you? You know, like, that's really what I want to bring in this channel. Anyways, it's like, for me, it's like, it's about finding out who we are and why we're here. Like my first desire when I got sober back in 2009 was I want to know how to feel comfortable in my skin. Please, I need to feel comfortable in my skin. I was having anxiety like crazy. Um, it was a lot of anxiety, but now I also know it as benzodiazepine withdrawals. I was coming down off benzos, ha having taken benzos as prescribed for two and a half years. And a lot of uh, dysregulation and emotional, um, I called it anxiety at the time. It was like anxiety attacks. I couldn't think, I couldn't concentrate. So it, it took a while, right? Because after I learned how to feel comfortable in my skin, which is an ongoing journey, right? Because I continue to evolve, but I was like in ICU critical condition of wanting to feel comfortable in my skin that first year or two of my sobriety. And something shifted around two and a half years where I was like, oh, I feel peace inside. <laughs> Maybe not when I'm energetically sharing on a YouTube video, right? But like I found a place of peace inside and I found a way to calm myself down and a way to transmute my emotions so that I can get free. Then after that wish was fulfilled or alongside that wish being fulfilled and feeling comfortable in my skin, I wanted to know who am I and why am I here? Like getting sober was a big identity crisis. Like who am I without alcohol? Who am I without, you know? And so who am I and why am I here? I think those are the big questions. They're the big questions for me. And I'm continuing to have those questions answered year after year. So who are you and why are you here?
and enjoy being on that journey, the journey of being the amazingness that is you, this luminescent, bright, bubbling soul inside of a body. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you much peace and freedom on your healing journey and the journey to becoming more you. Um, finding out who you are and why you are here, as I say all the time, because it is so important. That is, that's what this is about. I think so that's what this is about to me. All right. I will see you in the next video. Maybe I'll see you in the, in the comments first. You have something to comment? Comment below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.